Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review slash routine video. Basically, I will be sharing with you my review on the products, whether I like it or not, as well as my routine with it. So um, today we are doing a foundation, so the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. A lot of you saw it in the background of my last couple videos and were asking about it. So yeah, I'm here to review it for you guys today, and I will also have a couple clips of me applying the foundation as well. It is what I'm wearing right now. I will show you the brush that I used, the method that I used to apply it, um, and the concealer and the powder that I like to pair with it as well. This foundation was a pretty big deal because Bare Minerals usually only has... Um, mineral foundation or powder foundation and I'm a huge fan of their mineral foundation so when I heard that they were coming out with a liquid one I was really intrigued. Right off the bat one of the first things I noticed about the foundation is that it had an amazing color range and I love how it was separated by um, golden and pink undertones and it told you like blatantly like golden undertone, pink undertone, neutral undertone. It made it so much easier um, when selecting my shade. So I love, so I absolutely love that about the foundation. Um, I also think it's pretty reasonably priced for what it is. So for $29, I feel it's a reasonably priced higher end foundation. I got the shade Bare Nude 09. This one is a golden undertone shade. There was a shade that was pretty similar. Um, it was one shade down, which was the more pink undertone. And um, yeah, I'm not a pink undertone at all, so I opted for Bare Nude 09. So if you're a similar skin tone to me, um, this shade should work for you really well. I did not purchase the brush that goes along with it. I felt that I had brushes. Um, they're not really similar, but would get the job done just fine. And I'm glad that I didn't waste the $29 on it, honestly, because um, I really don't need their brush to get a good application. I feel like the one that I get using my brush is totally fine and um, awesome. So this foundation is described as a breakthrough tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one created with exceptional purity in mind this ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage and natural finish and the look and feel of beautiful bare skin while delivering a more noticeably brighter youthful appearance made with bare minimum ingredients and formulated without water silicone oil parabens or fragrance it's like nothing you've ever it's like nothing you've ever felt before. Those are the claims on the box, and I totally have to agree. Guys, when I first applied this, I put two drops of foundation onto my brush and started, um, I dotted it like onto my skin and then started buffing it in. <laughs> and when I tell you I didn't think I had any product on my brush, I thought I was just buffing an, a bare brush onto my skin. Like, it is so lightweight. It's amazing. And it gives good coverage. This can be built up for even more coverage. I'll start out with two and a half drops all over my entire face. I'll put the two drops onto the brush. I'll put the two and a half drops on the brush and then I will go ahead put a dot um, on each cheek, my forehead and my nose and then go ahead and blend everything out. For me it's perfect coverage. You can build up the coverage though so if you do want a little bit more I will go ahead I would go ahead and add a drop or two after your initial kind of layer has set um, and then go ahead back in and build it up. Now at this point the foundation is going to be more noticeable on the skin but it's not cakey. It builds up quite nicely so that is totally an option for those of you who want something that is medium to full coverage. The finish of this foundation is really really interesting. If you guys have tried the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation, um, you will kind of understand the texture that I am talking about. This one does feel a little bit more wet on your skin though, whereas I really honestly did not even feel the fact that I was applying foundation on my face with the Bare Minerals. It gives a really naturally luminous finish, but not in like a wet looking way. It almost feels and looks like a powder, but like a luminous powder. So similar to the original foundation, like the Bare Minerals original mineral foundation, that's kind of the finish that it reminds me of, um, but not powdery at all. It's like very creamy and luminous at the same time. It's hard to explain. Just, it's amazing. It's definitely I have to agree with the brightening, but it's not a like shimmer brightening. It looks like 
your skin is just glowing and it's absolutely fantastic. I also love the fact that it has SPF 20 in it as well. That is a big bonus, a huge plus, especially great for the summertime. Um, and I think this is also perfect because it is so lightweight and because it has the SPF, this is probably going to be my go-to summer foundation. Some things that I have noticed about the foundation is that it really clings to dry patches. Um, so if you have dry skin, um, I could see it being fantastic for dry skin because of the finish and how it is like very luminous and just like natural and amazing. But when I had a couple dry patches on my chin, it really clung to them. And that being said, I don't know how somebody with really oily skin would like this either um, because I feel like it does break up kind of quickly. Um, I noticed that for me, it breaks up on my chin and on my forehead. I started to notice it breaking up about four hours into the wear, so not super quickly, but definitely, um, it's definitely not the longest wearing foundation I own. So keep that in mind if you are someone who has very oily skin, um, or if you're somebody who doesn't like to touch up your skin, you may not love this. But for me, um, I'd so much rather have to touch up during the day and absolutely love the finish of my skin than wear something that feels and looks like a mask that I don't have to touch up. So now I'm going to show you guys how I apply the foundation. I'm going to be using a flat top brush from Royal Care Cosmetics and then I'm just going to shake up the foundation really well because it is very liquidy and we need to incorporate all the ingredients together. So then I just put two and a half dots of foundation on the brush and dot the brush across my forehead, my cheeks, and then I'm just going to start buffing in the foundation until it is completely seamless on my skin. And you guys can see the finish that I talked about in the review, how it is very luminous but still undetectable, and I just love the way the foundation looks on my skin. I think it looks absolutely amazing. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I feel like this goes really well just for a very easy, everyday look. And to blend this in, I'm using another Royal Care Cosmetics brush, and this one is a rounded foundation brush. I'm also using this brush to powder and set the foundation as well. I'm using my e.l.f. HD powder, but I'm only setting my under eyes a little bit in between my brows and my chin. So overall, if you guys cannot tell, I am 100% in love with this foundation. Um, I love the finish. I love the coverage. I love how lightweight it is. I love that it has SPF. The color range is amazing. If you guys have not tried it yet, go ahead. Go to your Sephora or your Bare Minerals store. Check it out. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions about the foundation, please leave it down below. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.